All right, let's talk about why this person's systolic blood pressure is so high when their heart rate is so low. So there's one formula that I feel like encompasses all of hemodynamics, and that is cardiac output is equal to stroke volume times heart rate. Now, the person who made this TikTok said that the, I, I guess it was the person's dad or somebody, um, but they were still awake, they were still able to talk, uh, they were conscious um, and appropriate. So you know that the person's cardiac output is good because they're still able to get that blood flow to the brain. So for simplicity's sake, let's say that his cardiac output stayed the same as if his heart was beating 60 or 70 beats per minute. So in that case, it would mean that since your heart rate is low, that you're going to have to compensate with an increased stroke volume. So where does this extra stroke volume come from? So whenever your heart is beating slow like this, it increases what is called filling time. And that's the amount of time that the heart is given to fill up with blood. So with a heart rate of 29, you're going to have a significantly longer filling time than you would if it was double that, like 60 or 70. This increased filling time causes more blood to go into the heart, which means that with each beat, you're going to be pushing out more blood. Now this increase in blood going into the arterial system is going to increase the pressure, which you will then see as an increased systolic. Now the diastolic doesn't go up because we're not really doing anything during diastole. Um, your, di your diastolic pressure would go up if there was any major vasoconstriction um, or anything like that. So that is why you see an increased systolic pressure in this uh, guy's uh, situation and why he is able to remain cognizant in a uh, heart rate of 29. Now, the people that you see that decompensate, you know, they cannot compensate for this heart rate. You'll see them go unconscious and everything like that. Usually do not have hearts that can withstand um, stroke volumes like this and cannot deliver that same thing. So this dude probably has a pretty good heart. He just needed a pacemaker.